I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, I'm on a winning streak, yeah, I'm on a winning streak, 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 yeah, I'm on a winning streak. If you received eighteen thousand dollars a month, could you get by? Could you raise two teenage kids? Eighteen thousand a month, could you make it? Apparently, Michael Strahan's ex-wife cannot make it with $18,000 a month. I mean, the man settled with her after they divorced in 2006. He gave her $15 million. Actually, $15.3 million and $18,000 a month she has been receiving. That's 13 years and counting. They have twin daughters, 15 years old. They have 15 year olds. And Jean is dragging him back in court. And she's saying, I want more money. Apparently Jean has been pocket watching Michael Strahan since the settlement. Mike has gone on to become a successful talk show host and he's making money and endorsements and all this other stuff. So Mike is really getting to the paper. So I'm like, okay, cool, give me a stack. So he's gonna text me back talking about I got 800 for you. So I'm like, nigga, no, I'm not taking no 800, nigga. I said a stack, I want a thousand dollars. So he like, oh, well, if you take the eight, um, I'm gonna fuck with you like every week. So I'm like, damn, okay, you gonna fuck with me every week. So that shit got me thinking, like, damn, should I just take this eight and you know fuck with him every week or you know, take a thousand. But the thing about it is, like, I don't like bargaining on my fucking pussy. Like, bitch, that's my pussy. Like, if I say what I say, that's the price that I want. So, I don't know, though. I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, I'm I'm confused. What y'all think I should do? I need some help. You think I should take the 800 and fuck with him every week? Or y'all think I should just say no and give me my stack? All right. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement, obviously. Um... The non, uh, what is it? Um, non active men to movement is all verbal, and this is all you fucking serious. As in Michael Strahan, let's get to you first. So this this one is going out firstly to all of y'all who continue to believe that a nothing ass bitch has to be a black woman. You're mistaken, sir. As I said, a nothing ass bitch is a consciousness. It's a mindset. It has no age limit. It has no color. It's like a fucking spirit. You have no idea how many non-black women I get DMs about. Hey man, you know, I went with a white girl, man. Thank you, you know. Hey man, I went with an Indian girl, man. Thank you, you know. I went with a uh, Mexican, man. You know. Black girls are just too rough and tough. No, that's not the case at all. Some black girls are just too soft in that. Um, it's too nice. But you go, you, you went over and went to the white side um, thinking that you escaped. Yeah, look, looking at other people because you're in the first 
you're in the infancy infancy of your relationship uh, that you know two years or less uh, maybe even three years or less you haven't really seen any true problems um, not my kind of relationship my, my shit the infancy is two weeks shit shit but um so you looking at other people and, and seeing them with they fine ass um African American women and you like ah uh, and seeing like the niggas getting taken to court and niggas getting set up and robbed and you know all your issues and you like oh yeah it's all good you know you met the family they gave you the, the broccoli casserole and shit like that you thinking you all good um until you start cheating on her or she starts finding out that you're cheating or not even that until you get tired of fucking her so many times so many times we try to make this shit more complicated than what it is it's about sex if I never got tired of fucking you and I treated you Throughout the whole relationship, like I did the first time we fucked, how happy I was. Might even told you I loved you just because, you know, whatever the fuck. Sex after a while becomes a chore for a man. Come in the room. You, she got to tell you, come upstairs. Come to, you ain't coming to bed. You on the phone with another hoe. Telling her, like, man, this motherfucker so goddamn worse than shit. I'll be back in a minute. That's what that's what makes the argument when you try to get out of bed. Like, where are you going? I gotta go down. I, I, I've been. I'm trying to work. You know what I'm saying? So the strain comes. That's the strain. The strain is you're not acting like you did in the beginning, and honestly, that's fucking impossible. I, and then they, they, they saying, oh, the, the, no, I can't treat you like I did in the beginning. I'm going to treat you better. The, the, the relationship's going to evolve. Stop fucking playing, man. We got good news and we got bad news. Hold on, hold on. But all my... All my habitual donators that always hear their name during the um, AO Nation donation conversation that we do every third Sunday, I salute you before we do anything. Um, to take your hard earn and to put it in something that you fuck with, it motivates me beyond words, period. Love. The good news is this. I'm gonna continue to do the How to Identify Nothing Ass Bitch series. Of course, you know it's um, AO Nation exclusive series so you have to go to patreon.com and become a patron um, in order to watch it and once you become a patron you'll be able to see all of the other unreleased episodes that I couldn't put on YouTube every Monday we go live on the big face podcast channel at 7 30 a lot of y'all be late than a motherfucker but we go live every Monday at 7 30 um, if you're a lieutenant, you'll be given the privilege to call in and state your opinion at any point in time during the broadcast. Um, at 6.45, you'll be given a call-in number on your Patreon account, and we just go from now. For all my new people, if you want the uh, Are You Serious t-shirt, it's $15. The Big Facts Podcast t-shirt is $15. The Men 2 t-shirt is $20, and the Big Facts Podcast scullies or ten dollars uh, go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 address size color and what shirt you want it's time for the bad news the bad news is no one watches sponsored videos so if you're a rapper and you thinking that I'm gonna get an IG sponsorship or I'm gonna get a Facebook sponsorship nobody's watching this shit so the numbers that they're 
telling you that you have are bullshit. And you know that bullshit because when you post after you did your sponsorship, your shit plummets. Even when you are running the sponsorship, your fucking YouTube numbers are bullshit. They're bullshit. Stop playing with yourself here on this show where we do not accept trash music, we do not accept homosexual music, and we don't accept that mumble rap bullshit. The prices for promotion start at $200. They go up to $2,000 depending on how much exposure you want. They start there. So if you don't have $200, there's no reason to come this way. If your music is not up to par, there's no reason to come this way. I explain the packages as soon as you come in the inbox and say, hey, I got my budget together with the packages. I'm not putting out no fucking price sheet so you can pass that shit to your fucking homosexual homeboy and send him my fucking way. Ain't no fucking price sheet because everybody can't get on this show. I want to see your motherfucking profile. I want to check, see what the fuck I'm fucking with. This show has integrity. That's why we rock the way we rock. But you keep paying that $25, $35 to a fucking sponsorship, which no one sees. They scroll right past it. And you'll be a fucking 50-year-old rapper. And that's just what it is. This shit you gotta be, homie. There's nothing like the first time of anything. When you're dealing with the first time, when you're doing, when you're chasing that first time in a relationship, but see, usually, you know, like the crackhead chases his first hit of crack. It's usually the woman who chases that first time that spark that y'all had in the beginning. The nigga is searching for that spark with somebody else. She's searching for that spark within the same relationship. And this is what turns any woman into a horrible motherfucker. This does not justify it at all. What I'm putting here into you is we create, this is a, uh, the movie Faster. Not really a good movie. Uh, what was I at when I was watching that shit? But the movie Faster, kind of a depressing movie. That was the, the moral of it. We create our own hell. And yes, a nothing ass bitch can be created. From that hurt that she may have had from whatever relationship, now she takes it on to the world because it truly, that shit really broke her. That shit really broke her. Like she was really in love and he fucked over. Now she is taking that shit onto the world now that's extremely childish to do that's bullshit that's that's what kids fucking do you have to get back on the horse there is no because if a nigga gets fucked over and he fuck you you know this uh, he, he, that's, he a broken man and all that bullshit are you uh, what the fuck are we talking about how does a man a, a man show that he's broken now let's compare that to how a woman shows that she's broken she gets fifteen fucking million dollars and eighteen thousand dollars of fucking money. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. And eighteen thousand dollars a fucking month, and still wants more because she needs him to feel what she because she's destroyed. She's destroyed. Sierra isn't going after future for no fucking money. She's happy in her relationship. Happy people don't want to hurt people. As Charlemagne the God says, hurt people hurt people. I need you to feel what I'm feeling. You smiling? Oh, fuck that. So that she was created. Is that, does that give her justification for who the fuck she is? When she dies, will she be able to say, he hurt me. I did everything for him and he still left me. I did everything for him and he still cheated on me. And I'm just saying, I'm giving this because fuck you, Michael Strahan. Like, you're not trying to help the fucking movement. Fuck you, nigga. I'm not saying, you know, whatever, but yeah, let's, let's put him in that seat. 
Let's talk about it. We already heard, we already know what the fuck that is on, on, you know, let's talk about how this shit happens. This is why you cannot put a color on a nothing ass bitch. No matter what race you are, you're going to find hurt. And that, the, 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 what we're forgetting is that does, that does not just happen for a woman. Do you know how many men... Have been cheated on. And as soon as they find out they've been cheated on. They kill everybody. Shout out to Big C. He sent me a video of a fucking. Uh, of a nigga pulling up to a fucking. It was on Grindface. That, that'd be some horrible shit on Grindface. But uh. He pull up to the. She pulling out the other nigga driveway. This nigga coming down the road full speed. And slam his car into her ass. She discombobulating that car. The man coming out the house like a, a regular Rick happened, trying to make sure everybody okay. Nigga wet his ass up. Give him like six of them, then stood over him. Then went over there and handled the bitch. Gave her the whole thing. This nigga reloaded and walked in the house. He finna kill everything. And that's because he was hurt. Now, if, she, um, if he's not justified in his hurt of just finding out, which his defense should be, Temporary insanity, uh, 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 crime of passion. But if he's not justified in what he did because he was hurt, how in the fuck does the law allow itself to become a tool in her fucking revenge? What are we doing here? Now... What I will say is that I I feel like this shit can be, um, I feel like it can be easily, um, it can be easily, um, avoided. Just don't marry them. Don't put your, especially if you're a man of any consequence, no matter how much you love her, I just, she's never going to do it. You saw what he thought. He thought he had a, a beautiful lily flower. And she's showing him her fucking thorns right now. It don't matter what the fuck. I just don't see her doing it. You haven't done it to her yet. You don't even know who the fuck she is. You, once. I, I, how, how do I even explain this to you? You don't know who the fuck she is. As time goes on, we change, we transform, we evolve. You're not going to have that same fire every day that you had in the beginning. That's what she wants. Those flashes of the past are not, they're, they're too far and in between. They're not going to be enough for her. So no matter what the fuck you do, it's not going to be enough. And you're going to get tired of the nagging. It's going to drive you out the house. You going out the house and then she's going to find out it's going to be a big spat. Uh, and she's never going to trust you again. So now every time you go, she's like, oh, well, you probably back with that bitch again. And, and like, come on, what the fuck? She died. Or whatever the fuck. Until finally, you like, man, we just here for the kids anyway. Let's just go our own way. Yeah, that's what the fuck you wanted to do. going to take your ass to the cleaners. And that's the hell that you've created. Because you chose to say you thought immaturely as a child. And said I'm going to get married because I know how I'm going to feel for the rest of my life. I know right now for the rest of my life I'm never going to get tired of you. It's not like everything in life gets old and dies. It's not like the only thing that's constant in this life. The only thing that's constant in this life is change. The only thing that stays the same is change. It's to the point where you can't even write, like, the, the prenuptial agreement can't even be that deep. Because once you're married for a certain amount of time, you have to give her alimony. She has to be able to uh, sustain life. Um, because... So it, it's so retarded. Look at this, how, how it's set up. 
how is the law backing feminists? How is the government even adhering to anything they say when the whole fucking shit is based upon man being the head, man being the lead, man being the fucking alpha male, woman being the fucking homemaker, taking care of the children. This is why you have to pay her. And you can play the whole fucking, oh, no, nah, just whoever fucking, uh, it's not just always a woman, it's whoever. We both had jobs. Why in the fuck do I have to pay her alimony? So that argument's out the fucking window. You, you, you uh, what is it? I think it's nine. No, it's not. I don't think it's nine years. I think it's uh, was it three years? Because uh, the the dude who played Mini Me, his model girlfriend um uh, waited to the day after their three year anniversary and fucking divorced him. Cause you have to be married three years in, in California to, to be entitled to the money. So, my um, advice to you would be, hey, let's get married in Africa. Hey, let's get married. Uh, I, hey, I, I'm uh, spiritual. I want to be married. Uh, whatever the fuck. We'll have the whole ceremony, but we're not going to go through uh, the government. I don't want to be married under Trump, or I don't want to be married under whatever president. Whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm just not married. I'm not going to be legally married to you. We're married. Everyone knows we're married. Instagram, you got the ring. We're married. What the fuck does a marriage license mean? It's a piece of paper. We don't need the government to uh, confirm, that, to validate our fucking love. And if you're not with that, then I, we're probably in the wrong space. I'm not sure why that would be a big deal to you. If you're the type of girl who needs to go flaunt this around to show all the other girls that we're married, then we're in the wrong, I, I'm, I'm with the wrong girl anyway. If you're not with this mindset that I'm on and I don't need anybody to validate anything that I do, we're in the wrong space. Me saying I'll marry you is I'm marrying you and I'm, I'm going to stay true to that. We'll be married under a, a, a preacher and everything. We're married. The fuck does the government, the, the fucking state, what do they have to do with it? If you need them to validate our love, we're in the wrong relationship. My wife will be a free-spirited, not conforming. You know, like, maybe we don't even agree on every fucking, I don't need you to fucking be my fucking uh, foot scrub slave. I, I actually would like for you to make me better. In the areas where I'm weak. You're the puzzle piece that completes me. If you're the same as me, we're going to do this shit. So we just like to look at each other, but we can't. We don't. We, uh, we just not. We're not clicking. You know, we just like to look at each other. We can just fuck. We just keep bumping each other. Just fucking, fucking, fucking. But we can't get past. You know what I'm saying? When. As. As. As and what they'll I guess on a on woman's side what they'll tell you is being married legally it protects you it's protecting you um it, it will allow you to be a what you're supposed to be a nurturer a mother and all that stuff and if it doesn't work out then you'll be given some money to where you can get your life together okay so hold on hold on Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. In the law, you have a built-in prenuptial agreement. Understand what I'm saying. In the law, you have a built-in, what is that shit called? I'm not going to think of the word. Exit strategy. Built-in. In order for me to have a exit strategy that works for me financially, I would have to get a prenuptial agreement. 
And that motherfucker still doesn't hold me all the way down. But in a regular, traditional, run-of-the-mill fucking marriage, the contract says you will be given this much if you're married this long because to, you'll be he'll have to give you this the the um um atonement um alimony so that you can get back on your feet so that you can still continue to live the lifestyle that you lived and i think you know i think a couple of niggas and got that shit like i think the, the mary j Blige husband nigga you know then got that shit whatever but it's like it's bullshit my nigga it's bullshit. This contract is obviously against, it's blatantly against me. I plan on being extremely fucking successful. This looks like a fucking bill. This looks like, to you it looks like love, to me it looks like a fucking bill. Sign if you love me, bitch, you tripping. And if I can't tell you, bitch, you tripping, then we just, once again, we don't need to be together. You tripping. That's why I say, all right, so, you know, let's goddamn um, uh, find something. Find goddamn something. But, you know, it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't have the answer, but I know that's not the fucking answer. That's not the goddamn answer. That's not it. That's not it. It ain't it. Like, no. Like, we both work, uh, you know. That's why, how about we don't do it until we both get our shit up till we, like, you know what I'm saying? Let me help, let me get your shit up just like my shit is up. To where we both can sit back on our money and shit. What the fuck is wrong with a working relationship? And if it get to a point, like, if it get to a point where I want you to sit down and shit like that, maybe I sit down and just follow you around. But you don't never want to be solely dependent on a motherfucker. It's just so many ways it can go wrong and you left in the fucking shithole. It's dangerous, man, depending on love. You ask any one of these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, uh, about fucking love, and, and I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. They'll tell you. And you just know my shit gonna be different. Nah, see yo, see what your shit? My shit gonna be different than that. Nah, shit. My girl love me, my nigga. She, she ain't never gonna trip like that. And it's like Once again, the only thing, the only thing that stays consistent is change. And if you're not a person who can, you know, smart person learns from their mistakes. A wise person learns from the mistake, mistakes of others. If you can't look at history and pull from it and say, okay, I don't want to end up like this. What can we do differently? And, you know, I, I guess, once again, I'm a love hater. Because I'm saying... What we're doing isn't working. Let's talk about it. There are married couples, some of our parents, our grandparents, that are together or stayed together far after, way after they stopped sleeping in the same fucking, damn the same fucking bed, the same goddamn room. Mama fucking don't even damn near live here no more. But everybody think, you know, they still together. And it, it's like staying together. Come on, man. Come on. We went through our midlife marriage crisis 10 fucking years ago, a decade ago. We just, like, we just two people in the house now. We can't even remember the last time we had sex. Are you serious? No bitches don't want me and no men don't want you and we just we just here. It's too much to even fuck. Like, you know, like you you didn't said so much sick shit to me 
disparaging shit to me to where I don't even want to fuck you. Like, you said shit that you can't take back and after you, like, I can't even, I don't even find you attractive no more. And it's at that point that we got to say, all right, let's go our separate ways. But when you enter into that contract, you know, then you'll get into some shit where both of y'all trying to spy on the other one, trying to see who, find your way out of a marriage without having to pay the goddamn money. So the marriage is only about money at that point. Do you know how fucking horrible that has to be to be living like that? I'm too old to try to date again. I don't even, I don't want to, and it, it's going to embarrass the fuck out of me to say that we divorcing, so uh, I just don't even want to deal with it. Uh, just, so, I would, if I did have to uh, propose something to make an argument, I would say, um, marriages with time limits to where you can re-sign the contract if you want to. I, I fucking um, we were opposed to resigning. We didn't we didn't resign. We're gonna take a two year deal. We're gonna take a six year deal, a four year deal. To say that marriage is forever and always, all that I can say is, don't do the shit until the end of life. Then, I right, we're at the age to where we're not gonna still be trying to find different careers. We're both retired. We pretty much set how we hey. I'm going to travel for the rest of my life. I retire until I die. I'm going to be traveling. You know, I have my grandkids and stuff like that. I keep them when I can. So, hey, this is my life right now. Because that whole, I want somebody to grow old with. You don't just, you don't just grow old. You grow angry with. You grow jealous with. Malicious. Vile. Do you, I'm asking you a question. Do you think that Michael Strahan saw any of these signs within this Lily? Do you think he saw any, for her to be as evil as she is, to say that it's not even about my happiness anymore. Fuck my happiness. And I keep telling y'all that shit. It's not about the fucking money. It's not about the money. I'm good over here. I'm straight. I don't need no fucking money. I need for you to be in pain. I have to destroy your life. I want you to feel how I feel every night. My only life's goal. I don't give a fuck about shit. My daughter, because they had two twin girls, my daughter getting an uh, invitation from Harvard would not make me as happy as you not dying, but you being publicly embarrassed. You being uh, going to bankruptcy and cry on national television. I would revel in that and damn near have an orgasm. If I can just destroy, be the demise of your smile. Since it seems like you love money, uh, uh, I'm going to take it all. I want it all. Of course I don't need it, but I can make an argument. Because the court system is on my fucking side. I'll tell them that, hey, the kids are getting older. This, this isn't going to do. $18,000 a fucking month. Is not going to do. Not because the kids need it, but because you're making more money. It's the it's the court systems that allow this. This case shouldn't even be heard. It shouldn't even be heard. Fifteen million, eighteen thousand dollars a month. What the fuck did I give you this money for? Why did I agree on this amount? If it's just gonna keep going up, how 
How am I supposed? But that's the whole thing about it. And and you just and it's the whole thing. You just don't feel like you'll ever be on that side of the coin. Just like he didn't. Just like no one thought that they would be on that side of the coin. It was so fucking lovely in the beginning. It's new pussy. That's all it is. And you better know that for women, for women, their pussy is connected to their heart. It is directly connected. So, in the beginning when the pussy is getting this ran through, oh, this ravaging, that means he loves me. Now, as the dick slows down, you must not love me. But I have a brain too. So, I know that I shouldn't feel the way I feel because I can see that he's working. I can see that he's stressed. I can see that he's had an injury. But, she's going insane. Her mind is fighting against her heart. When really it should be a very, like, why in the fuck, like, that emotional creature bullshit isn't going to fly here. You're a fucking adult. But because you're a happy wife, happy life, you know what I'm saying? Because of that. Be quiet! That damn howling. But she's fucking tripping. Throw a period in that motherfucker, nigga. You got a volatile situation. So now it's just all touchy and shit. Tension in the house. Not to mention, nigga, you don't really find any joy in fucking her anymore. A marriage is the bonding of one of two things into one thing. You can, the, the, the marriage of, you know, it's welding, you know, marrying two pieces of metal together to make a stronger piece of metal. But when you do that, what happens is your body becomes my body and have you ever, this is for me and, and I, women too, have you masturbated? Have you ever masturbated for like a week straight? And then like, and you try to masturbate like again, and it's like, well, I don't really feel like it. It's just, yeah, it's fuck, huh? Fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the fuck. What the fuck am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do different here? Like, it's the same fucking hand. I can try to do it with the left hand, but fuck that. Fuck that. And that's what happens. And because it's like, it's just, a, it's just, a, a, it's just, it's, it's born to fail. Because her heart is in her pussy. She can't even help the way she feels. She can't even help the way she feels. Of course she can, but it's just... And then that shit can lead to now her first thought is, I must not look good. Uh, pussy might not, must not be good enough. So now she starts doing all type of crazy shit because not, it's like, it's not you. It's this whole thing was bullshit. And now you have to explain that to her. Now you have to explain because you told her, I'll never get tired of you. I've always, and it's like, damn. Damn. So that's a lie. That's a lie right there. So now you, you guys are... You, you, your whole long streak of being honest and transparent with each other. Now you that comes to a halt. And that's the beginning of the separation. And just gets wider and wider and wider. 
and it's just a horrible thing to go through and it's a horrible thing to witness you bring children into it it just gets more and more complicated um i i had i have a situation it's a uh example i give to my artists um i tell them in the beginning your girl she'll be the one who helps you with the you know the uh, posting this shit on Facebook and putting this shit on YouTube, putting this shit on Instagram. She'll be a camera girl and taking down dates and, you know, be a number one fan and shit like that. But it's going to be something that takes place here. She can act like she's, yeah, no, I'm not self conscious. All that good shit. But something's going to happen. And y'all, and, and when that happens, it's just going to be a separation that's going to come. Till one day, it's like, what happened to you? You used to love to uh, upload my shit. And so it's the same, it happens the same way with women when you're a man who's trying to do something. Uh, what happened? Like, you used to love uploading my shit and, and uh, reading my fan mail and answering back to fans and posting on it and hold my camera and shit like that. What the fuck happened to you? It's like, oh, well, now, nah, um, you own the own that motherfucker to uh, flirt with bitches. I seen this shit. It's like, we've already talked about that shit. Like, the fuck? We had a plan in the beginning. You were supposed to fucking, you know. We read the stats together. Women are the biggest consumers on the planet. If we want to make some money, we're going to have to sell to women. I have to have a sex appeal. Well, you don't never claim me. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't never claim you. If I claim you... My sex appeal goes out the window. We make more money if I look like a single fucking man. You know what the fuck the real is. Why the fuck should this matter? I'm not with that. You probably fuck with Did you not just hear what the fuck I just said? Don't fucking cut that. That's, 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 oh, that's all it is. You let another bitch come in our house and... What bitch are you talking about? And it's at that very moment that... The line has been drawn in the sand. If you continue with this career, there's no qualming her. She's let it be known. Right with that conversation, it's going to be me or your career. She won't leave, but it's not going to be no peace. There will be no peace. Now she's doing shit just to make you, just to distract you. Going out. In whole clothes. Looking like a nothing ass bitch. Staying out on purpose. Just to make you think. Answering the phone in the other room. <laughs> you crazy. The house. Is divided. And the next step is a destruction. Either you're going to. I've said it many times. You can either have a successful relationship or a successful career. Successful relationship or successful career. It's just what it is. You can think and you can... You're going to be in my inbox in a couple months. Man, I thought you were bullshit, man. I just knew I had me a good girl, man. I just knew it, man. But I should have known she was a nothing-ass bitch. Because whenever I try to tell her to watch your video, she'll be like... You watching that shit again? I'm not giving you nothing but truth. Even if I am talking about a nothing ass bitch, she shouldn't be offended in the least. She knows there's nothing ass bitches out here in the world. What the fuck? I've never put a fucking, uh, uh, your bitch is a fucking nothing ass, no. So it says something to her comprehension skills if she can't listen and, and take it for what it is. But right there when she, all that good shit, that was her letting you know, hey, nigga, you need to come up off that bullshit, nigga. I, I want you to be on me. I ain't with that bullshit. It's like, hold on, we were in this shit together. 
we were in that shit together, nigga. I'm done with that shit. Fuck that shit. And you need to be off that shit, too. Because, see, you're the one who has your heart into it. She's only with the shit because you're with it. After it haven't, hasn't worked out for a couple years. So she'll be there for the first six months working with you. But then she's like, oh, I got to go to work. She start making excuses why she can't do the shit she used to do. Maybe she start, oh, again. Damn, I, I was supposed to go somewhere. It's straight. I do it myself. Yeah, you do it yourself. Like, whoa, what the fuck? But what it is is that she's telling you that you fucking another bitch because you're not fucking me. And not only you not fucking me, but you not even getting shit from this shit. If you ain't popped off by now, nigga, it ain't gonna happen. She's shown you where she stands. That's why I'm telling you, if if this if this isn't a creative, she doesn't have a creative heart from the start. Sit. If ain't no connection there from the start, as far as like, uh, I'll tell you my nigga, tell you. But when she says that at that very moment, you're going to have to make a decision. And that's going to be a very important decision because after you make the decision, you can't go and make the same mistake afterwards. The decision is either you're going to focus on your career or you're going to focus on your relationship. If you choose your career, you can't go into another relationship. For one, this is the only girl that really knows you. Everybody else from this point forward is going to be groupies. So there will be no real connection there. Now if you choose her. Your dreams are dead. And for you to give up your dreams. Because she doesn't believe anymore. Is... It's ludicrous. It's, it, it doesn't make sense. I, I'm not, I can't. I can't play that side. It doesn't make sense because a couple years down the line, maybe a decade down the line, this relationship still doesn't work out. You sacrificed the thing that you love the most to show her that you love her more than anything, and then ten years later she cheat on you. You can't come back to this shit. It's over. The time is gone. The time has passed. But if you choose your career, then you will, what you're giving up is companionship. You're going to have your mama and your cousin and them and shit like that, but a woman who knows you and shit like that. But to be honest, you can make another one. You can make another one. Um, success. You will have every, everything that you ever lost. Your success will bring it all back. With the help of God. But. I'm just letting you know what it is my nigga. I mean it, 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 it's right here in plain sight for you. Um, it's like. Having. It's not to say that you want someone. Who's just like you. I, I, I believe that. You know. A relationship. Should be. Like this woman should. Be. Strong. Round. Weak. And. And wherever. You know. Th this on that end. So she should be strong. Round. Weak. So she's like. She's what's going to make me whole. Like. But it's crazy. Because. But like I just said, because I'm about to say, it's crazy because if you choose her over your career, your career, you'll always have a void in your life because you want, you love this. You love what you do. So even if you choose her, you're still going to have a void. But if you choose a career, you'll have a void because she's the only one who could really complete you. If you're a, you know, a touchy-feely, I need somebody type person, if you're going to, if you're coming into this entertainment shit, if you're coming into this business shit, you need to get real comfortable with being by yourself. There's not going to be anyone around that understands the hours. 
I was supposed to go to sleep at 9 o'clock. It is currently 1.49 a.m. It's just what it is. And you, once again, can think that you're that person who is going to be different with. And you'll be Michael Strahan. That girl, I would want a girl who is strong around weak so that she can complete me and we can really be like this over the girl that I just can't get over her look. She can't get over mine, but we can't get past that. That's nothing like, that's all, that we just fucking, we just fucking, fucking, fucking. We can't anything more. We can't come together. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just... So I can understand when you finally find a girl where you do feel like, oh, she's, it's like before you make that fucking decision, you might want to travel the fucking world to make sure and you might want to accomplish something before you do this shit. Um, we'll get back to the same question. Should you get the girl before you become successful or after? I'm always going to say after. Because at least then, you have a financial backing. The last thing you want to be is alone and broke. You don't want to be with, with the motherfucker and broke. Now, if it's true love, if it if it is true love with no drugs involved, it won't matter if you're broke because it'll just be, you'll just be in, in love. Uh, but only so many get lucky with that. Um, only so many. So, it is what it is. What I would tell you is, uh, focus on you, get what you need. America is not trying to help you in any way shape form or fashion as i've stated there is a um, reverse prenuptial agreement installed into the marriage contract after a certain period of time she's going to get that fucking money with a prenup or without it It's not about loving your money. And, oh man, you don't live one life. You don't want to be alone. You're not going to be alone. It's what I tell you. You're not going to be alone. Look at look at Michael Strait. Look the fuck. Like, what do you want? Like, do you want to be a, alone? Or do you want to have a motherfucker that's always at you? Like, you know how much hate you have to have for somebody to keep watching them? Like, yeah. Your twins come in. Hey, we just got fucking inducted to the Hall of Fame for the chess club. That's fine. That's fine. I'm trying to see how much money he has. Just stalking them. And this is what some mothers do. You, you listen to your child. Like, all she does is talk about you. All she does is all she does is talk. How he's doing this. How he do. It's like their mother has been possessed. But that's what happens when you channel when you have all that hatred it's like it's fuming off of you and it's like it has a smell and the demons can smell it and it's just like a, a pheromone for demons that just enter your body and they just fucking take over and the person that was once in that shell is somewhere in there but that's where their misery comes from they just trapped inside this body with the demons and they just want death and destruction to come upon. They that fucking mad. Because you. You made them feel like they were. Not good enough. And you know to be honest. I hope that I don't raise a child. Or, or any of my daughters is like that. To where. A man can do that to you to where you don't give a fuck about accomplishing anything you don't want to build anything your only goal is to destroy him that's it and as long as we don't have 
as long as you celebrity men who are getting fucked over like this, let me say this too. For you nothing ass bitches, and this is for the black nothing ass bitches, the, the nothing ass bitches that are black. For y'all to run to this bitch, Lisa Bloom, where all she does is take black men's money and freedom. That's all she does is defame and dethrone successful black men. For y'all to run to her and then the next day go to this revolt, let's save all the black lives meeting with T.I. and Killer Mike. I believe that if you work with Lisa Bloom, you should not be allowed. I believe if you have a nigga on child support, you shouldn't be allowed. But nigga, that's a whole nother story. But if you work with Lisa Bloom to defame and dethrone a successful black man, you shouldn't be allowed anywhere near any meeting about um, the evolution or the the um, the uh, comeuppance of the black community because obviously you're not on our side. If you're trying to take out our black men, you obviously not on our side. I don't give a motherfuck. But it, it, it's still to say the same thing. It's like the government is dangling a carrot in front of these people's face. Dog, how many of you out there, if you had a million dollars just out there in the air that you can just claim and have it, who wouldn't claim it? They're, dog, they're telling these nothing-ass bitches, hey, it's like the, the lawyer comes up to him and says, hey, um, I just wanted to inform you, and you know that, um, you got twenty million dollars guaranteed. This, you know, you you dated Kevin Hart. You dated uh, Marlon Wayans. You dated whoever the fuck, Odell Beckham Jr. You dated Antonio Brown. You know you have a twenty million dollar settlement just waiting for you, don't you? You know you get you get paid for that. I didn't know that. Yeah, couldn't you use a couple million? Yeah, I definitely could. Okay, well you sign this, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the case. Uh, and I'll do a pro bono. Of course, we'll split the back end. But um, I'll do it totally free of charge uh, up front. Okay. And you said it's, it's guaranteed? Guaranteed. Okay. That's what they're saying. Do you hear how idiotic these fucking claims sound? This fucking trainer with Antonio Brown is coming out talking that bullshit after he sent a text like, bitch, what the, the fuck? What are you? These hoes is broke. They want money. Who wouldn't want this fucking money? Why not try? Like, the fuck? You, you broke. You ain't got it. Why not try? Fuck, it's, it's a free case. The fuck? You want to cry a little bit, whatever, you know, but it's all good. You're you going to get the money. Is he going to go to jail? Um... Do you want him to go to jail? You know what I'm saying? They're enabling them. Just like they're enabling them with this child support shit. Dave Chappelle, I salute you. I salute you, sir. Even if you didn't shout me out or whatever like that, fuck that. Dave Chappelle said, if she, if I have no choice in whether she aborts my child or has my child, I should have the choice in saying whether I want to support that child or not. I should be able to have a financial abortion. I can't force her to do shit. Why in the fuck can she force me? But that's what I'm saying. Are you like the law is leaning over here? That's why until something changes, this Men Too movement is grassroots. It's us. It's, it's amazing to me that the men that tend to uh, have the most to gain or lose sit back and say nothing until it's their turn to get smacked upside the fucking head. 
I said this a long time ago. Until something stops. That, that's the law of motion, ain't it? A object in motion will stay in motion unless otherwise tampered with. How in the fuck is this going to stop? It's free money. Niggas is fucking... Even if the bitch ain't a nothing ass bitch, like the fuck, like you dated fucking Lil Wayne, why wouldn't you say he grabbed your titty when you, you didn't want him to grab your titty? Like, yeah, we were fucking, but we was at a table one time and he grabbed my titty and, and then he grabbed my ass one time uh, and we weren't having sex and I didn't like that. So, um, that was sexual assault. You're damn right it was sexual assault. We have a suit. And it will go. And just because a nigga don't want that shit to hit the media, he'll pay the bitch. Come on, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Big Face Podcast. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you go to the Patreon. We're on the, front. We're on the fourth installment of the How to Identify Nothing Ass Bitch series. The next one is going to be, going to be How to Identify Nothing Ass Bitch by her social media. We've done How to Identify Nothing Ass Bitch in public. How do I identify nothing ass bitch by a house? How do I identify nothing ass bitch by our kids? Next one is a social media. Make sure you get to the Patreon. That's a Patreon only AO Nation exclusive series. Handle business. I'll see you all in a minute. Love, love.